Do you know that colleges and universities around the globe offer degrees in problem solving? Yes, that's what engineering's all about. Today, we'll be going over some of the ingenious engineering solutions that are on another level. So pause here, bench yourself in a comfortable place, and let's begin. The first solution we'll be talking about today will be a game changer for fishing enthusiasts. It's called the Ultra Skiff. The major problem with most boats is that they're large and difficult to move around. Sometimes even carrying the boat from the car to the water body can be very challenging. But then came this round personal mini boat having abrasion resistant edges so you can just roll it towards your place of interest. The boat's compact enough to fit in a pickup truck and comes with a detachable seat so there's no compromise on comfort even when you're fishing. The boat weighs only 56 kilograms and comes in eight different models ranging between $1,500 and $1,900. The patented design of this boat helps it stay in place even when you're standing on an edge. As the world is progressing in terms of technology and the masses are getting awareness about environmental sustainability, people have started to prefer a minimalist lifestyle. The hustle starts with getting yourself a home made out of eco-friendly materials which is not tied to a place. This is where the Eco Capsule shines. Eco Capsule is a unique egg-shaped motorhome suitable for one or two people. In this 6.2 square foot contraption, you'll find not only a livable place but also everything you need in your normal home. This capsule was designed to be as mobile as possible and it can be placed anywhere. Not only does this little home offer mobility, but also it's designed to be as smart as possible technologically. It comes with a wind turbine and a solar panel to generate electricity. A few years back, a new technology was developed in Arizona for easing out the process of carrying storage containers. The technology essentially turns a container into its trailer. It's called the Cheetah Lift, and it's a four-wheeler platform. The container is loaded on top by two people with the help of a tow truck. The wheels are installed and finally your container is mobile. The Cheetah machine only requires as little as 20 feet of room in front of the container to place the container on the ground, unlike traditional tractor trailer methods that require 125 feet of room to place the container on the ground. The method of delivery in the future will not remain manually. Recently, Agility Robots revealed their new bipedal robot boasting a torso, a couple of legs, and a couple of arms. The robot's computing power comes from the powerful computer embedded in its chest. They call it Digit. The robot comes with new capabilities that are of utmost importance when moving through complex human-oriented environments for tasks such as curb-to-doorstep delivery. Although Digit is still being tested, it's capable enough to pick up and stack boxes that weigh over 18 kilograms. Since robots don't need salaries, lunch breaks, or even sleep, Companies that deliver goods will save a lot of money by deploying this robot. If you're a delivery person, you must start taking into consideration new career pathways. It's a moment to cherish when engineers come up with products that can help the disabled feel and work like normal ones. The MCP driver is designed for individuals with amputations through the proximal phalanx. The MCP driver restores the middle and distal phalanges. This device can replace up to four fingers. You can even button your cuffs with this driver. This invention is refined enough to enable people to do tasks that require a high level of motor skills. The driver rests on the back of the hand more like a glove. The fingers also have silicon tips to protect objects from slipping out of the hand. The largest hydropower project in Switzerland took nine years to complete. Despite unsuitable circumstances and enormous challenges, the specialist managed to expand the power station to a 1,480 megawatt capacity. The power station's water requirements are fulfilled from Lake Lemurne via an underground pump. Due to extraordinary conditions in which this project was made functional, the pipes are inclined at 45 degrees and all the heavy equipment was delivered via special lifts. Even a 2.4-mile tunnel was constructed for providing reachability to the plant. The tunnel had a diameter of 26 feet so that the machinery can pass through it. To keep up with the pace, the conveyor belt passed around 500 tons of material via a conveyor belt. These are shade balls that cover the water reservoirs in Los Angeles. You must have been thinking that water levels are depleting, so these balls prevent evaporation. But you're mistaken there. 
A beverage company once contacted LA's authorities to report about higher levels of bromate, which turns water undesirably polluted. So the authorities came up with an ambitious solution. The balls are made of high-density polythelene, which is less dense than water, so they float on the surface of the reservoir even if they break apart. They're 10 centimeters, 4 inches in diameter, and contain about 210 milliliters of water. So the main reason they're on the reservoir is to block sunlight from entering the water and trigger a chemical reaction that turns harmless bromide into carcinogenic bromate. This effect occurs with prolonged exposure to bromate, so regulators insist that levels be kept below 10 micrograms per liter on average over 12 months. The ambition of building the Panama Canal takes us back to the 16th century. At that time, a ship that traveled from the east to the west coast of the American continent had to go around the Cape Horn in South America, which is almost a 15,000-kilometer journey. A recent Panama Canal expansion project was completed in 2016, which doubled the lanes of the canal. Two new sets of locks were built, especially for this project, with three chambers accompanying each. Each chamber is 1,400 feet long, which is the equivalent of about four soccer fields. The depth of each chamber is about 59 feet, and the project took a mammoth 159 million cubic feet of concrete to complete, which is more than enough to build two Egyptian pyramids. The structure is reinforced with 220,000 tons of steel, and 15 gates installed inside the canal weigh around 50,000 tons, and a mammoth 66 million tons of explosives were used. For many years, the railroads of the Swiss town of Auru and Alton remained one of the busiest routes in the country. 550 trains ran on it every day. So to decrease this load on the route and increase the capacity of the section, the construction of the Eppenberg Tunnel began in 2014. The tunnel was supposed to be underground, and for that, the entitled company procured a multi-mode tunnel boring machine for carrying out the process. With a diameter of 12.75 meters, the Eppenberg Tunnel is the centerpiece of the four-track expansion of the rail link. The expansion widened one of the largest two-track-only bottlenecks in the country's central plateau area between Bern and Zurich. Car owners know how unpleasant it can be to come across scratches on their cars. The sad part is that it's not very difficult to damage the car's surface as well. The invention we're going to be discussing now eradicates the problem. It's called the Linex. This product prevents the car's surface from scratches thanks to its high level of water tightness and UV resistance. The compound also guarantees that the surface will not corrode. It can be applied to any surface without even concerning the shape of the matter. The compound distributes evenly and provides you all the strength you need to avoid those scratches on your shiny new vehicle. The problem is that the compound doesn't look very appealing but the impact resistance is sublime. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed witnessing these ingenious inventions. Let us know if there's an invention worth mentioning that we missed in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe for more.